We've, we've passed, like, three skill checks in total, I think. Out of uh, about 500. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Eh. I just, I don't want to be angry anymore. We, we did sports for a while, we wanted to be angry for a while, no more. <laughs> let's, uh, let's stop being so angry. Hey, Harlequin! Yeah, uh, Matty pointed that er out earlier, some of them uh, do correlate with Binding Isaac icons. All right, let's let's just dunk this uh, this military. We'll be ready. We'll be ready for a fight. Hold on, let me check. We're we're getting yeah over twenty. Logistics and more strategy, I think. You study the power of ranged weapons, from arrows to thrown fire and sand, and how the threat of such attacks can shift the enemy's response. And you also study the use of cavalry, as well as the costs and benefits of traveling with large animals. You learn about the support costs created by support. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals are needed to move them. And then those people and animals also need to be fed and equipped. Uh, you also uh, study the difficulty of obtaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or dis destroy supplies rather than let them fall into your hands, and friendly civilians may not stay friendly if they're robbed. Today is the procession and planting for the Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. Pretty sure if I do this option, I die. I feel like there's like a 90% chance I just die. <laughs> I mean, like, that was, that was the most ominous thing ever, right? If you have any concerns about your safety at all, maybe you shouldn't go. Like, maybe, maybe you shouldn't go. Okay. I, I'm, I am not going because I am choosing to not die. No, I guess I'd rather stay here. Yielding and lonely, okay. You watch the procession from your tower window, feeling safe, but lonely. Suddenly, you hear someone moving around inside your room. You turn in surprise, but it's only a maid. My lady, what are you- should you not be in the procession? Faith success. It's a major festival, but there are other ways to celebrate. <sighs> Make religious excuse? I passed a check, guys. Alright. Um... Ooh. Do we, do we trust in this maid? This maid might be working for the enemy. Like, I want a paranoia meter. It's like off the charts right here. Sure, you didn't die, but is this really living? That's that's a fair point, Enos, but I don't I don't have any dancing skills, I don't have any speaking skills, so even if I don't die, I still fail horribly. Like it it just doesn't go well, no matter what. I'm not uh I'm not yelling at her. Um <sighs> Confess your fears. Uh, I'm not. I'm not good at conversation, though. I don't, um, I'm pretty good at faith because I've got all that divination action. Yeah, let's do make religious excuse. Play it safe. Just kill her. <laughs> I prefer to give thanks for the good lady's blessing by meditating. What was her voice? I just did it a minute ago. That's very wise of you, my lady. Oh, that's that's it. Okay, nothing. Nothing else happened there. Well, everything else is now down. Uh, 
I can't, I can't not be angry, guys. It's so hard. Screw it. Let's uh, go lonely then and just keep blurring our angry. You wander through the parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little except spider webs. Yuck. Still angry. Week 17. <laughs> We've done nothing in 17 weeks. I'm horrified. I'm, uh, I'm horrified. Well, I mean, <laughs> we can get, let's get some weapons. Let's, let's do some weapons. Uh, Kinshiru Treasury will do nothing unless I've got some accounting and present skill. The angry face is kinda cute. <laughs> I mean, we're still reasonably getting skills from Intrigue, that's okay. I think we do weapons though, let's, let's focus on weapons. We've got so much military right now. I kinda wanna know how to defend myself. Kinda want to know how to hunt. <laughs> I want everything! Alright, uh, let's get swords. Let's defend ourselves. You take up a wooden sword and practice correct grips and stances. You practice slow swings to move your blade to the precisely marked targets, building up your muscles and control. You also drill with a partner, attacking and blocking in carefully timed patterns. Hey, sad customer. Are you ready for the Grand Ball? Wait, I thought I wasn't going to the Grand Ball. All the nobles in the domain are here to see you. To see their queen. <coughs> you finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entry. I thought I wasn't going to the ball! Was that a separate- Oh, the ball was separate from the Day of the Good Lady. I didn't know those were separate things. I thought they were the same thing. Shit. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Uh, how many skill checks are we gonna fail? Three? Four? Yes! I, I, I <laughs> failed them all. Seeing yourself reflected in so many eyes makes you want to run away and hide. <laughs> After a moment, you force yourself to carry on, but they have you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. <laughs> Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers his arm. I thought I was gonna fail three checks. It was four! entire failed checks. I didn't even see them all at all. The first dance is for us. Oh, here's another fail. Yeah. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kigal alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. But I'm already betrothed to the Duke of Sedna! That does not bar you from dancing. Court banners failed, yep. There's, there's that one. Yeah, Grand Ball, good. We we practiced swords just in time for the Grand Ball. <laughs> oh my god. They can't gossip about you if you're dead if they're dead. That's uh that's a fair point, happy culture. It's a fair point. We'll have to keep that in mind. I wish my daughter wasn't such a colossal failure. Refuse. We're not dancing. Dancing is forbidden! Everybody stop dancing! No! I don't want the Duke of Senna to think badly of me. I will skip the dancing! Very well. Between the dances, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. Course manner, I had a little flattery, but not enough. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I may have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage kept our borders defended. 
Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwynel, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school at the absolute terror of the ball fields. I better pass a, a, a local intrigue check, right? I hope so. No Brioni. She had said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together. The Duke Consort collecting his Duchess positively tight. Crazy Sunshine just resubscribed. Thank you very much for the continued support, Crazy Sunshine. I do appreciate it. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? You know, the one that's dead? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. Since magic, it's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? There's a rogue mage here trying to kill me! Everything... <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> we we got a nice like six uh, six failed checks at that ball, right? Something like that. And we even did dance. We could have had one more failed check. Oh man! Is there anything this princess doesn't fail at? So let me. Hey, I uh, I didn't bump into someone in the hall one time. Okay, that happened. I I didn't bump into someone. And, um, then there was that time that owl, I knew it was an owl. That's right. I knew the owl was an owl. Um, uh, I think there was one more time. I think there was one other time I didn't fail. Okay, we're no longer angry. Um, willful. So right now, depressed is winning. As far as I can, wait, since current mood, angry. Oh, that's probably just hasn't changed yet. Okay, that's fair. Uh, so, we can either be, we don't want to be more willful, though. We could be depressed. Do we have, is there any too pressured? There's not too pressured anywhere. I, I could be fine being willful for one more beat, I guess. So is there any cheerful plus pressured or something? Cheerful plus lonely. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, but then, nope, then we're angry again, because it lowers will. Damn it, toys! Let's see, lonely, cheerful. That leaves us willful for a tur for probably more than one turn. Yielding, depressed, pressured. That would uh, make us very depressed, going to court. None of these are what I want. <laughs> Uh, this is minus willful plus pressure. That keeps us angry. <laughs> Playing with toys only indirectly makes me angry. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that would leave us... Walking the garden would leave us willful and, uh... Start bringing us towards lonely, I guess? I don't think there's gonna be any yield... No, there is yielding plus lonely. Yeah, we could do that one next time. So walk in the garden now and then toys next time, maybe. And then we've tried, like, everything out, right? Walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burdens on your shoulders. Alright, we're back to, uh, Willful. We've got that billet, that Lumen bonus we still can't use. Man, we need that frickin' treasury. We need it to be in that treasury, like, ten weeks ago, probably. That's gotta be super important. Hey, Tatarelli! Hey, Kamada! Okay, Draco, yeah, I think that's probably good to know that, uh, 
when you when you fail four checks, if you pass at least like one or some of them, that's uh that's relevant. Yeah, this doesn't change anything. This means I just can't do weapons. The one thing that is this is actually worse. Willful is worse than angry right now. Uh, I guess that just means I do more intrigue. I was really hoping to get like an internal affairs check uh, at that ball though, because we have uh, we have intrigue coming out of our ears. Screw it, logistics and internal affairs. We are going to be mad skilled at uh, combat here. Okay, TP7. Things are bad. Sorry to hear about it, but we'll uh, we'll catch you about it later. I, I guess I missed uh, something early, so my apologies on that. But the music sounds like it's a three-second loop. It's uh, it's a pretty short loop. I don't think the skills degrade, Matty. Time to spy out our own citizens. Exactly. You study how to determine when to jettison or destroy excess goods for speed, and how to avoid overreaching. Man, our logistics are 83 now. Crushing the logistics. You learn about how to calculate enemy war preparations based on the movement of goods within their land. Armies do not spring up full formed overnight. That's kind of what caused World War I. <laughs> Mobilization's crazy, yo. You're, you study the benefits of looting as a troop motivator versus the ne negative effect on civilian populations. The Duke of Marie has paid suit to the Duchess of Ursel to no avail. The Duchess's brother is opposed, as he will inherit if she dies childless. Your agents suspect the Duchess of Ursel is actually more interested in the Duchess of Hellas. Neither has ever been linked to a man. Countess Lique of Dis married the old Duke of Sudbury, who was more than twice her age, then divorced him as soon as she'd borne him an heir in order to marry another. It was considered shockingly rude by the general nobility, but the old Duke apparently had no objection. Hey, Double Taco! Twitch is back! Where have I been gone, Double Taco? I haven't been gone anywhere. Still streaming three times a week. Does trading music give you better background music? That would be kind of hilarious. It actually might. That'd be funny. Sorry to hear that, TP7. I probably, like, don't actually have to remember any of this. I can't remember anything already. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the Domain. Ooh. Well, that sounds good. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone and it's until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. A double taco, we've got a lot of ways to uh, keep up on the stream, so you might follow the, uh, the Steam group or Twitter, because sometimes uh, Twitch can be unreliable. You are too kind, Jocelyn! Countess Serin, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend. And yet, not at all old, as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? Composure failed. Shame her with silent scorn. <laughs> Insult her with false flattery. I don't think I've got enough flattery skill. Trip her as she passes. Um, I've got some reflexes. Maybe we can trip her with our reflexes, guys. You wait until the Countess gets closer, then hook your foot around to make her stumble. Flexibility! Success! She trips over you, falling gratifyingly to the floor. Ow! Are you both alright? I'm fine. I don't want more willful, though. I, don't, I doubt want more willful, that's terrible. 
Oh well. She picks herself up and glares at you before forcing a smile onto her face. I think perhaps I should go and sit down. You, you can't be too careful. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. This is the path that you have set us on. What do you mean? Your acts have made everyone think about preparations for the future. Caloris needs an heir. My brother, your Uncle Armand, is looking for a wife as well. One of us, at least, must produce more children. But... Mama... Nothing can ever replace your mother. But we all have to do things we don't want to do. You should be careful how you deal with people like Sirin. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far that I've noticed. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you at all times because you need to be skilled in everything always forever. Isn't that what I have agents for? Intrigue success. Yes, but you must give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Uh oh. Oh man, we got a major fork here, probably. Hey, wireless fox! <laughs> Everyone's. Uh, noble plots, commoner uprisings, foreign threats, assassins. Um, I mean, I think assassins are actually my biggest threat, but foreign threats are up there. That was two skill checks in a row, guys! Two skill checks in a row. We are. We are full of skill now. <laughs> Meat sack, pretty much. Alright, um, oh man. We got assassins or foreign threats. I am not concerned with commoner uprisings. I might be com afraid of noble plots. Hmm. I mean, I, I, was, I made a fool of myself at the ball, and the commoners heard about that, I'm sure, but... Like... Whatever. I don't think the commoners care too much. That's right. We're getting into my wheelhouse now. Exactly. Not dying would be my biggest focus. Uh, I mean, that's what we focused on so far a little bit, and uh, that's pretty good. Noble Plots is interesting, though, because, like, we've got a lot of intrigue. I mean, we, like, all of these are good. We, we, this is completely my wheelhouse. I should know, I should pass checks on all of these. But, like, exactly, noble plots to assassinate me? Purple AoE, welcome. Let's, uh, let's go assassins. Let's, let's, that's the most straightforward option here. Let's, uh, let's just go with assassins. I can deal with any problems that come up as long as I'm here to deal with them. It's assassins I'm worried about. You are your own best defense against assassins. Increasing your skills will help protect you. Beyond that, you can train more soldiers into personal bodyguards to watch over you. That sounds good. Or you can institute harsh penalties for treason and make people too frightened to cross you. Um... Those all sound good in their own ways. Yeah, that's just simply your poor nobles plotting to assassinate you. Citizens uprising, in which case they'll assassinate you. Hmm... That's, uh, that's tough. There's, uh, there's merit to all those. 